Karina and I hope you're having a great day so far. Today's video is going to be another makeup tutorial. Today I'm going to be focusing on mainly this one color in the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. I'm feeling really inspired by this beautiful kind of brownish, um, purplish, reddish, blue shadow and I really wanted to create a look specifically around it because that's a little bit outside of my comfort zone and I just thought it would be really fun to do especially because more and more makeup companies are coming out with shadows similar to that. kind of shade isn't too hard to get your hands on but sometimes it can be kind of intimidating because it's a beautiful shadow but you're just kind of like how do I apply that? How do I, what do I pair it with? How can I just make it work? So today I used that mainly all over my lid and then basically just some warm shadows to kind of warm everything up and to add some more drama. Um, heavy on the liner and lashes and then a kind of tea rose lip. It's actually the same look color I wore in my last video because playing with this I was like that lip would look perfect with this. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started. Jumping straight into the eyes, I'm going to use the Simply Spoiled Perfection Palette with this matte camel brown. This is going to go right into our crease. So I'm using a fluffy blending brush using windshield wiper motions all the way from outer corner to inner corner. And this is just going to make everything blend so seamlessly and smoothly and give the eye more dimension as well. And I'm next going to take this e.l.f. matte bronzer in the shade Caramel Cabana with another fluffy blending brush. I'm going to mainly be depositing the color on my outer V area, but I will also pull this all the way into my inner corner. But again, just really focusing most of the color on the outer V. I also like to keep my eyes open at this part. It kind of helps find my crease. Then the star of the show, this is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. Look at that color, you guys. It is so stunning. It so, has so many different colors in there, a beautiful iridescence. And I like to pack this on my lid using a synthetic flat brush. I feel like you get the best color payoff here. And I'm not using it wet, anything like that, just straight out of the pan. And just really packing that on. And we'll be doing this a couple times throughout the video to get the best color payoff. Next, I'm going to take a really large fluffy bending brush with that same camel brown and I'm going to just be buffing everything, make sure that there's no harsh lines and everything's blending seamlessly. This is the BH Cosmetics 26 Neutral Palette and I'm going to be using a plumish color and then also a purple and I'm going to use a very small delicate fluffy burning blending brush and just really focus this on the outer V of my eye. This just makes the whole look because it pulls out those beautiful kind of burgundy shades in that blue shadow that we just used and it gives the eyes so much dimension it's so unique and I just love the way that these two shadows combine I'm going to then go back in with that uh, camel brown I use this a lot to help blend everything out because you do really want to blend a lot here and then I do want to do my brow bone highlight this is the Lorac Summer Glow palette just a matte off-white peach shade and a very small um, flat brush as well and I'm just going to apply this right under my brow I do want this to be matte because I don't want too much glitter on my eyes. I want the main focus to be right here on the lid. So here I am just kind of packing on some more shadow again, just really intensifying everything and making it really pop and stand out. Next I'm going to tight line. So this is the Rimmel Scandalize in the shade Black. This is definitely a necessity for this look, I think, anyways, because it's going to make your lash band a lot thicker and then I'm also going to do a little bit of a wing liner using the Maybelline gel eyeliner this is the eye studio and I'm just going to do a really thin band all the way from outer corner to inner corner and then you guys know the drill my typical little baby wing or a little flick you can of course make this as dramatic as you would like I personally am just more comfortable with a kind of baby wing and then we're going to take a break on the eyes and go to the face for a little bit. This is the Olay Fresh FX Mattifier Primer. You guys know how I feel about this stuff. I'm so obsessed with it. And then I'm going to also conceal my under eyes, or I should say correct my under eyes, with this LA Girl Pro HD Concealer in the shade Nude. It is a kind of salmon peachy shade, so I like to do this before my foundation. I just find that it really helps kind of hide my dark circles and brighten up that under eye area. So for foundation today, I'm using the Maybelline Matte and Poreless in the shade 220. One of my holy grails, you guys know I love this stuff so much. So I'm just going to dot this all over my face and I'm going to blend it in with my Beauty Blender. Next, I want to highlight the face even more. So this is a Flower Beauty uh, concealer. I didn't want to use this one because it is 
um, not sold anymore, I don't believe, but I didn't have my other one. I wanted to use the Maybelline Fit Me, but I couldn't find it, so I'm going to use this one today. I also really do like this one. I'm just going to apply this generously to all of my face. You guys know the drill, and I'm going to proceed to blend that in with my beauty blender as well. Also, I don't think I mentioned it at the beginning, but I do already have my eyebrows on. I am going to be doing a full, in-depth, um, updated eyebrow tutorial, but it is still, if you're curious, using the Salon Perfect Brow Pomade. That is all I use on my brows. And so with the Beauty Blender, I do like to also clean up the edges a little bit. This is going to really sharpen everything up. And then, of course, go on my nose, center my forehead, just kind of highlighting the face as well. Next, we're going to do a little bit of baking or cooking. This is an NYC Smooth Skin Translucent Powder, and I'm going to be applying this right under my eyes, basically everywhere that we just put that concealer. Pretty much just going to bathe our whole face in this. <laughs> and this looks like a lot of makeup, but that's because it is. Um, because this is not a natural look, this is definitely a more dramatic look. But here I am back into the Simply Spoiled Perfection Palette. I'm mixing the yellow shade and the peach shade, and then I'm going to dust everything away. I do let that sit for about 30 seconds, but of course on camera I'm not going to sit there for 30 seconds. So here I'm just dusting everything away, and this is going to make your concealer last all day and just really lock it in place. So I'm going to go back in with that camel brown that we use on our eyes. This is just a tiny bit deeper than my skin tone or a little bit warmer than my skin tone. So I am using the um, Real Techniques blush brush and I'm going to bronze up the face. Just kind of add some more color back in. And then I'm going to go same with the Simply Spoiled Perfection Palette. I'm using pretty much this whole palette here. And this is the XR Rose Cosmetics Contour Brush. It gives you an intense contour, you guys. It is stunning and I wanted an intense contour with this. But I know it does look like there's pretty much just lines on my face, so I do go and blend that in. But this brush is amazing for really kind of defining that contour area. I get right under my lip like always and then on my nose. But I was kind of having trouble on my nose because it's an awkward shape. So I had to play around with it a little bit. So here I am with a large kabuki brush, and I'm just going to buff the contour upwards. This is going to ensure it's not going to look muddy, but it's just going to make everything seem seamless and just flawless. For blush, I'm using the e.l.f. Cosmetics Berry Mauve Blush. This is the perfect blush with this look. It is that perfect, like, I'm saying perfect so much in this video. It's the beautiful kind of tea rose mauve color, and I absolutely love the way that it came out. And then I'm going to do some highlight. This is the City Color Spotlight Highlight, and this is just a cream to powder highlight, so this is going to go on first. But I wanted some more gold, so this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. This is one of their new highlighters, and this is the golden shade. So I'm going to mix that all together, kind of swirl everything together, and then just put that right over the City Color uh, Spotlight Highlight. Then we're going to go back to the eyes, working on the lower lash line. This is, again, that e.l.f. Matte Bronzer, and I'm going to use a pencil brush, dragging from outer corner to inner co corner, just kind of smoking everything out because it gives a really nice balance to the eye. Then I'm going to use that same brush that we use with the cranberry shade, but this has no additional product, but it has leftover product, if that makes sense. And then I'm going to go back into the star of the show, that beautiful um, bluish brown, or red brown, and I'm going to also put that on the center. And then here I am just applying that same Rimmel eyeliner, because I felt like this look really called for some liner. So next I'm going to curl my lashes. And for mascara today, I'm using the YSL Volume Effect Mascara. This, actually, my mom gave to me when I was back in Washington. So I really wanted to try it out. Um, you could totally do false lashes, but I really am testing this out. I wanted to see how this does on its own and how much I can build it up to look like false lashes. And so far, I'm loving it, you guys. For lips, I'm using the e.l.f. Matte Lip Color in Tea Rose. It's literally probably my favorite color of all time. It's so stunning, and I feel like Tea Rose is just so perfect with um, this look. So then this is a Hard Candy lipstick in the shade Idolize. It is so glossy and hydrating, but it's a little bit more of a warmer purple than the Tea Rose, so I like to pair them together, and I think it just gives an amazing look. And then this is a Hard Candy um, Fast and Fabulous setting spray just to lock everything in. And this is a completed look. Guys, that completes this makeup tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Also, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss out on any of my new videos. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! definitely goodies. Number two goes to the City Color Be Matte Blushes. City Color Cosmetics is something that I discovered I think like two years ago now when I got a blush in my Ipsy bag and ever since I got that blush it was actually Fresh Melon 
It was 